Hey guys, JC6 here, back at you with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Let's see, we're on case two right now. We're trying to see um, who Mia Faye's real killer is. Let's see what the let's see what the judge has to say right now. So where does this that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that's a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw a defendant Maya Faye commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Did the Vince have anything to say? Well, come on, think of something. Let's continue examining Miss Faye. I mean, Miss May. Well, let's call it, well, let's just call the bellboy as a witness, I guess. We'd like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious about, suspicious, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you sunk something quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why, what's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretap had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that the Miss April May was not the killer, that she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That's my condition. I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. Except the condition. We got. We got to clarify some stuff. I got nothing to lose. Everything for well, everything. Understood. I accept the condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Um. Wait. There was a. Court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Sorry, H. Worth, you gotta lose this one. I can't let Maya just just fall like that. You got I'm taking you down, man. So it does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons to the work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That she said looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the guy's still honing it up right now may begin his testimony. He should put that down on the desk right in front of him. Why is he still holding it up? I'm the head billboard at the Fine Daywater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe that we served a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I to her at precisely the requested time, of course. I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see the defense may begin his cross examination. Right, I'm ready. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder somehow, mine will be finished. Well, let's see, um, I believe I received a call. A nice call we did read by, I heard 9 o'clock. I asked her guess Miss May herself. Okay, I see nothing I can press about it. I got, I got to press every statement because nothing looks suspicious to me. What exactly is it you do at the hotel? Why anything required of me, sir? I check in guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds. Man, it sounds like a shitty job. I, I check Miss May personally. Man, it sounds, it sounds... Are you always so, so prim? You will refrain from asking frivolous questions.
Are you sure I was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, I also heard her voice. Then I saw them, and I... Um, I heard... Voice me, I remembered her quite well, sir. When I clocked on a dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that se detail several times. Just watch a program on TV and wish to drink after she finished, sir. Let's see, um... Precisely 9 to 9 o'clock, then? Exactly and most definitely, sir, 9 o'clock p.m. Well, I, I don't know, Phoenix, he had a clock. I'm quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, Bellboy TV, I like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Not on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. You were sure it was Miss April made herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir, as in, so very absolutely, sir, it is an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Oh, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with, uh, an embracer? What the heck is an embracer? What the heck? An embrace, an embrace, sir? Is that in French for embrace? In French for kiss, sir. Not a French kiss, sir, or a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. It's up to something I wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good, there's nothing there. Well, I guess we had to press every statement to unlock this cutscene right here. Uh, finally, you understand, the billboard has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. Aren't all these court proceedings kind of tedious? I can't let this happen, can I? Well... You know what they say in court, always got something to say. We always got to have something to say, that's that's one of the rules in court. But then again, I don't want to talk about too much bullshit if possible. One last question, let me ask one last question. Oh man. Oh, uh, Edgeworth census. And he senses like some BS may be going on or something. Justice, now Mr. Edgeworth, alright Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. This is really it now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Let's ask about the check-in. I mean... Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl. You like for you like you like you like girls who are beautiful for for taste or something. That's a disappointment. What well, exactly was the disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir. But even I would have a little chance for her lover there. Lover? What did you say? Oh, uh, rather quite. No boy, tell us the truth now! This is Miss May checking with another person? Holy shit, this is another- Oh my god! This is another- We're making progress here! Objectionable. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Oh yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Oh, so you, uh, you didn't ask. That's the sort of thing you normally are supposed to mention.
the um, right now I'm pouring some coffee. There's like a pause here. It's because you know I'm trying to I'm drinking coffee while I'm talking. Yes, quite indeed. It was the uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who uh, the barrister. He, not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Why are you calling him a barrister? He, he's called a pro Why does he just use the word prosecutor? You, you fool! I've done it. I've won. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. It's getting intense here. When this music plays... You, you know, you know shit's happening when this music starts playing. Checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes sir, then... When you brought the room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been with the murderer. In this new light, I hope that's impossible to judge the defendant. Do you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... The man was Miss May. Mm, I'm, I'm emphasizing my button pressing here. <clears throat> the man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, if April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Bevo saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Well, convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who would hold hit the presence of the other man from this court. Upstart amateur? These accusations are ludicrous. Enough, the court acknowledges the defense argument. I expect the prosecution defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes, <laughs> Your Honor. That's all for today. Trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Okay, more investigation here. Mr. Wright, you are amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> Again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. The faces of his, with eyes wide and trembling lips, it shouldn't shiver up my spine. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Oh no. I don't think so. Not yet. I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Oh yeah, we did make progress today, didn't we? A man with Miss Faye, he's the key. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I hope they arrested her. I guess she's learning her child's work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. This case is far from closed. I'm going to find out more about this man. <laughs> Um, do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis! Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of Miss April May's testimony. I thought it may come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. I don't know how much good this will do for, for me after all. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center and it's up to me to get her free.
All right, guys. I was going to stop it right here. Next time we'll do some investigation. Take care, everybody. See you guys next time.